Oh, your call. grapefruit juice. <laughs> Make it Hello everyone, it's Lana here today. I'm back with the video. It's gonna be good, so keep watching. <laughs> okay. I know that mental illnesses and all those types of things exist and, you know, can be literal, you know, gen genes that are different in your body, different chemicals, and that can only be cured through medication. I know that. But today I want to talk about the power of just your mind and your thinking patterns and your mentality. Now, I always hated the saying of like, Oh, you can do it, you just have to put your mind to it, and all that kind of stuff, because I'm like, no, I don't, like, my mind won't do that, and I can't do this and think this way, but what I'm realizing is in that, um, rejection, there's a lot of I can't, and I just, I don't, and you know, that's not me. I wasn't born this way. Um, or, like, I've always been like this. It's more of the I've always been like this statements. And really, when I look at that and people saying those types of things, it just makes me think, okay, so this is a mental state. <laughs> because I know a couple of a couple of, not a couple of videos back, but a while ago, I did a car talk about putting yourself in boxes and um, paying attention to the way that you speak to yourself and to others. And this kind of language of, I can't do that, you know, that's just not me. Um, I've always been this way. I can't change. I'll never be normal. Those kinds of things that a person, a person says about themselves to other people or to themselves is in itself kind of putting yourself in a box. You're saying that basically it's impossible for you to change because that's just who you are, that's just how you've been, how you always will be, and even though you're complaining about being a certain way because you don't like it, at the end of the day the person tells themselves that they can't change and they don't want to because they think it's impossible. Now, for me, when I was younger, I thought that I was a born pessimist. I was like, you know, my mom's kind of pessimistic and so is her mom. And my mom's changed, so. But I'm like, oh, everyone in my family is pessimistic. Like, all the adults, I just am this way because I was raised this way. And it's really hard for me to be you know, optimistic and happy about stuff because, uh, and I just kind of just said that I was a pessimist, I was going to be this depressed person, and that's the way I was. And really, for me, I call it a self-pity kind of spiral. That's where I was about grade six, more like grade seven. Grade six, seven, eight, those were the times that I struggled with this. Um... And that was also when I was figure skating. But post figure skating, I realized I didn't have that thing that I wanted. Uh, I had to start fresh and start living a different life. And positivity was probably going to come in handy. Um, since, you know, I say there's always something negative to find in this world because we are literally imperfections walking earth. Um, and earth was made beautifully perfect. Um, if you believe in God, or um, you could just think of it as this mir the scientific miracle that created all these amazing, complex, perfect creatures and plants and landscapes. And we're just these imperfect people <laughs> walking around and destroying it. Um, 
and people are flawed, and etc, 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 like, you get the point. Um, there's always gonna be some shit to be mad about, and <laughs> I don't think that it's happy people that are, or I don't think that you have to be rich and successful and have a perfect life to be happy. Happy people are happy because they choose to be happy. For me, I think it really is and well can be a choice. You know, there are the exceptions that the person accepts and realizes that they don't like how they feel in the present moment, you know. I feel like shit because I feel, and I'm making myself feel and focus on all of the shit in this world. And you know what? I don't really like that because other people are happy and I want to be happy. Like, we all want happiness. So what do I have to do in order to be happy? Well, I should probably change what I'm focusing on. And, you know, change what I'm focusing on. Except that I don't like the way I'm thinking and my patterns and <laughs> choose to actively change them. Instead of looking at everything and just complaining about it, you see and accept the things for what they are and you can <clears throat> put a positive spin on it or just choose to not give a fuck. Um, just like the Mark Manson book that I'm reviewing currently on this channel, a lot of the negativity in life is because we're just choosing that we feel, all the negativity we feel is because we're choosing to feel it. Um, we can see something and just be like, you know what, that's life, you know. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes people are shitty and I don't, like, why do I care? Um, it's not affecting me or, there's just so many examples, like let's say someone's homosexual, uh, homophobic, um, and they're all angry and riled up all the time because there's this gay man that lives on the street. Now, this dude, this homophobic dude, is going to be feeling agitated and stressed out and unhappy, like a decent portion of his life. The guy lives on a street, he's not moving, whatever, and so instead Instead of just accepting that the guy's homosexual, he's not affecting his life, he's just living his life, being a normal person, what does it matter to me, I have better things to worry about, instead he's getting all riled up and annoyed and, and angry about something that really he could have easily chosen just with simple decision in his mind to not care about and he would be 10% happier every day. So I don't know if that's the best example but really um, it can come down to just what the fucks we're giving and not accepting that the way we are living is not working. You know they say there's so many steps to recovery the first is admitting you have a problem, and I think with mental stuff, it really rings true, because if you're unhappy, and you want to be happy, then you're going to have to change something, because doing the exact same thing is crazy, as Albert Einstein says. What is it? I forget what the actual word is. Irrational, something like that. Um, so kind of have to just look at yourself honestly and see how you're thinking and ask yourself, am I putting a little bit of a negative spin or a bias on the things that I'm getting mad about? Yeah, I kind of am. So what can I do? Maybe just not care about it or be a little more positive and see and accept the good things in life and then maybe I won't be so stressed out and angry all the time. Um, yeah, this is a little easier said than done, but that's my little rant. I hope you guys enjoyed this. That's all I'm going to say for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. See you in the next one. Peace.